What's going on guys, it's Jake here, and today we're gonna be fixing my dad's second generation iPod Nano. This thing is very old, and it doesn't hold a charge very well at all anymore. My dad still uses this thing regularly. When he's mowing the lawn, he's listening to his music, on this thing so i want to try and fix it for him and that's what we're going to do today i bought the replacement battery from ifixit it is the only place i could actually find a replacement battery for this specific ipod it was very expensive though and i think that's because it's the only one that i could find <laughs> it is a very very tiny battery only 400 milliamp hours at 3.7 volts this thing is super thin and just small in general. First step is locking it, which means the orange side sticks out. I'm gonna be heavily relying on the iFixit tutorial because I've never done this before myself. I will link that down below if you're interested. When I was like seven or eight, my grandparents got this for my dad for Christmas. And I was really excited because I thought they were really cool. I teased my dad saying, I know what grandma got you for Christmas. And then uh, he, tricked me into telling him and he felt really bad but it's it's funny to look back now <laughs> that's how old this thing is back in my day we used to listen to music on small devices that were separate from our cell phones now that we've pried those two plastic pieces off we're gonna go ahead and get a phillips double zero screw out and unscrew these I don't think this is a double zero. Yeah, I don't know who wrote the iFixit guide for this, but uh, the smaller screw, it says it's a double zero, it's a triple zero. I think that's why it says the screw strips easily, because they were using the wrong head. Carefully pop out the headphone jack. This is what we use to plug in our headphones before everything came wireless. I like how I'm making fun of uh, younger people when I'm 22. There's no way you're gonna be able to see that. There's another screw back there that I can hardly see that they also say is a double zero. It's also a triple zero. They really need to edit this. Now on the other side, there's two more. They say double head or double zero. I'm using triple zero. I think triple zero is just the better way to go for this job. Now we flip it back to the other side and this is gonna be difficult. Now we're gonna slide the, the rest of this out. Do not try and pull the uh, headphone jack all the way out. It, it just stays in there. We did it. This is the internals of an iPod Nano. Wow, that's actually pretty cool. There's some black glue here that needs to come off. They don't tell you how to actually get the battery out. So I'm just peeling it back, hoping not to blow up my fingers. So I couldn't get the black glue to come off at all. So I just kind of ripped it out. And the solder's old enough that it just kind of gave way to me. Time for some teeny tiny soldering. I apologize, but this is going to be really hard to see. Okay, so you see those red and blue wires? Yeah, those need to be flipped. It's honestly kind of a miracle I didn't break the iPod. And spoiler alert for the end of the video, this is why it does not work unless it's plugged into the wall. Wires soldered. I'm gonna go ahead and put some new Kapton tape over it. Okay, and I guess we're just sliding it back in. Oh my god, I think the hardest part of this is fitting it all back in. 
Whoever decided that DSLRs should have 30 minute timers before they stop recording is stupid. Anyways, unrelated, the uh, camera stopped recording right before I put in the connector for the headphone jack, which is not easy to do, but it's not like you're going to be able to see it because uh, can you see inside the iPod Nano right now? No, no, you cannot. And uh, zoom in editing, Jake? Yeah. That's a really good shot, isn't it? So it, you didn't miss much, but it was very hard and I was able to do it. Now we can go ahead and put this thing back in. The tiny little screw goes way down in the depth. Oh God, that was scary. Almost just lost this other screw. wonder how many people had mental breakdowns while trying to put this back together. Say no for sure, there's at least one. Tiny screws in tiny places. Gotta love them. Somehow, this is the biggest screw on the entire thing. Now we should be able to just pop those plastic pieces in. That actually helped. Almost impossible to put this back in. Oh my gosh, the, there's just a little bit of metal that was sticking inside because it was probably dropped and then scraped and yeah. But let's see if it even turns on. Let's plug her in. Hey! I don't know if you can see that, but it's on. Boom. Let me get some headphones. That's super loud. Oh, God. Dad, how how loud do you have it? I can't play the music for you, so... <laughs> Chances my dad has copyright-free music on this thing is very slim. My dad's variety of music is very, very wide. It, I went from Give It To Me Baby, uh-huh, uh-huh, to Open Arms by Journey, to Love Bug by the Jonas Brothers. Queen of my double-wide trailer. Okay, that's enough of that one. I'm gonna let this uh, charge for a bit. If I remember, there will be a clip of my dad seeing it. Do you know why you're here today? On the 14th of December, where was I? It's 7 o'clock, I don't know. It's not the Madden video. Oh, what? You got it figured out? Yeah. <gasps> For reals? For reals. Oh, the neighbors are going to be so happy. Oh, my gosh. They've been deprived of, of my singing for so long. You know what it was? Your son's a genius, and he soldered the wires in the wrong spot. What? For the battery? Yeah. Oh, really? It's a miracle that I didn't break it. So it was the batteries from the get-go. Yes, it was the battery. I was correct. I <laughs> just was incorrect on how I did it. <laughs> you don't know. <laughs> I'm very happy. I know. For those of you who don't live in the immediate area, I enjoy performing singing whilst I ride on the zero-turn mower for my neighbors to enjoy. You're welcome. I also told them about the uh, how you got that and how you forced it out of me when I was a wee child. I don't remember. You don't remember that? <laughs> I don't remember you being a child. <laughs> yeah. And then I accidentally let it slip because I think I was, what, seven? I don't know when this came out. It was new when you got it. Mm -hmm. Mom wasn't very happy because I was upset because you got it out of me. Doesn't... Doesn't seem like something that I would do, does it? No, not really. No. That's awesome. Uh, yeah. I had almost given up hope. Not on you. Mm -hmm. Never. That's awesome. Uh, looks like Christmas came early. Oh, no. It's... Christmas came late. <laughs> that's awesome. I don't know. I'm not really good at ending things. But that's going to be it for this video. If you guys did enjoy, listen to Brittany. Not, not just on the iPod. It, listen to her words right now if you're new here please subscribe 
only 1% of my viewers are actually subscribed. Check out the social medias, check out the website, and if you want to go above and beyond like these guys, check out the Patreon. But I think that's all for now, so I will see you guys in the next one. Later, guys. Cadillac, blackjack, baby, meet me out back, we're gonna boogie. Yeah, I, I fix it needs to fix their tutorials.